Hello, Pisces. Hope you're all doing well. I thank you for being here. I'm going to do a reading for you this evening. Um, do a Celtic cross reading. And uh, I pre-shuffled the cards before I came, came on. Um, I'll do a little shuffling right here and we'll, uh, we'll split the cards up and get started. I hope everything's going good for you. It's uh, Saturday. I'm not sure the date right now. <laughs> I'm not. Sorry. It's been a full last couple days. Okay, Pisces. Let's let's see what's going on here. All right. Let's get started here. All right. Um, oops. Okay, that's the hangman. Turn these cords around. Page of Pentacles. This is what could be blocking you here. Four of Cups, oops, the Sun, the Hierophant, this is your recent past here, Pisces, this is Temperance, that's what you'll be looking at here soon, let me put this here, King of Cups, that's the Two of Swords, High Priestess, and the Page of Wands. That would be your key, your last card of the reading. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, the first card here would be, this is, this is your, this is the heart of the matter, the hangman. This is what you'd be doing right now, probably Pisces, is, uh, this would be you. It, you would be, kind of laying back and thinking about the situation, taking a break maybe. Um, maybe you're thinking about uh, you know, that you kind of suspended here. You're looking at things in a different way. Oh. Uh, You, you may you may be surrendering something. You may be just saying, wait a minute. I'm not sure about this. I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm taking a break, okay? Whatever's going on, we'll see in the reading what's going on. But you might just be taking a break on, on the situation. Let's see what's going on here. All right, this card is, is blocking. This is kind of blocking something going on here for you, the Page of Pentacles. Uh, the Page is uh, uh, usually a young person, um, and um, it's usually a messenger. The Page usually comes with some, some um, a message for you. You can see here that... Um, Maybe he has, maybe it's a student. Maybe it's some documents he's bringing or she's bringing to you. And maybe that's what's blocking, what's blocking you. Uh, maybe you don't want, maybe, maybe you don't want to hear this news. Maybe you don't want to see these documents. This could also be some wealth, maybe inheritance here. Whatever it is, you you just suspended about the answer. You're just taking a break about this here. All right? This is some news, though. It is about wealth. It's a young person, but it's kind of blocking. It's kind of blocking um, your decision about it. Okay? This here is under you. This is This is what's in your subconscious. You know, you have you have three three cups, 
So it's good things. A lot of love and caring here. A lot of a lot of good good things, you know. Um, but you, and you're being offered, you're being offered great love and caring. But you, you look like you just, you're not interested in whatever's being offered to you. This could be something being offered to you here. It could be an inheritance. It could be some kind of family, uh, maybe a business or something here. But it looks like you're not interested. Maybe you just, uh, just not interested right at this moment. Let's see what's going on. That's in your subconscious, it's, you know. And you're conscious, though, here. This is this is the best card. <laughs> this is about success here. See the baby? It's about new beginnings here, and this baby is all happy and warm in the sunshine. It has these flowers growing. You know, and you can see all kind of good things. The little red wreath is victory. A lot of vitality. Just good good things here, Pisces. Yes, it is. The sun. A lot of celebration. Success. So that that's that's what's that's what's going on in your mind. That's what you want. This here is in your past, just recent past, not not anything long ago. Let's see what it, this is the Hierophant. Now you have some major Arcana cards here. Um, you have Temperance, you have the Sun, you have the Hierophant, you have the High Priestess. You have a lot of major cards, so this is major things that have been going on and gonna go on for you. The Hierophant's about. Um, Okay, some kind of conformity here. The Hierophant is, um, uh, it's about a person like a teacher. You know, it's someone, it's someone that's traditional, very traditional. And uh, maybe it's a religion. This person may be teach, a teacher. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you met someone that's maybe a traditionalist. Um, let's see. Uh, it's about a religion, about teaching, about teaching, about uh, group beliefs. Maybe something about uh, this is a Taurus energy here, also, Pisces, the Harfant about tradition, about religion and teaching, Taurus energy. Maybe you recognize that. This is in your recent past, though. All right, this is something you're getting ready to face here soon. This is temperance. Okay, this angel here, it's like this, this energy is flowing from one cup to another. It's a beautiful card. It's, and it, it's a... Uh, it's about balance and patience. This is what you're facing very soon, is patience and balance. And it, it's, it's going to be something about moderation here. Um, could be something coming up here for you. Um, and this this is influenced by Sagittarius here, Pisces. The sun's shining, we have water, flowers. It's a really good sign here for you. Um, a lot of peace, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, tranquility in this in this card here. You can see that in the in the card. You, so this is what's coming up for you. A lot of a lot of peace. Maybe a soulmate's coming into your life now. You know, and this could be the teacher here, the religion, the traditional partner. All right. 
Let's look at this here, the King of Cups. This is about some emotional balance. Now, this was about balance here too, temperance. And the King of Cups is a very... Uh, this person here is very uh, in control. He, he or she, the person is, is like uh, very secure, very secure person. This person is, is like, um, he could be a, this person could also be like a priest, very artistic. This here could also be a priest. I don't know why this is all coming together like that kind of person, like a teacher, a priest, a pastor. King of Cups could also be the same thing. very generous. The King of Cups is a really generous person. Um, very deep person. And here, this ties in with you too. This, this here is about letting go of things and maybe the King of Cups, maybe Maybe you have a tie with this person. Maybe you're talking to this person. This, this is, this is you too of being calm and in control. This is also you of being in control. You know, you're um. You you seeing, you you're taking a look at things in a different perspective about your life. King of Cups is also in control. This is how it relates here to you. This is what you're facing soon. Balance, calm, love. You know, that's that's all the good things. Some a meaning, a meaning to all of this, to this balance and patience. Now this here, this this represents that um that there's some choices to make. You can see this. There's choices to make. Uh, might be some ideas that's conflicting for you. Indecision. You have indecision. And there's a lot of water here. So there's, there's emotions here that you have. Uh, your, your hands, your arms are crossing your heart. You... You kind of protecting your heart against this decision you have to make. So um, maybe you're stuck in the middle of something, some kind of choice. Maybe you know. Maybe that's it's, it's a hard decision for you. This also is your family. What they're thinking that you have to do, and they know that you're having a hard time of it. Okay, they may be trying to help you with that. Maybe this person here, if this isn't you, although it relates to you in some kind of way, maybe they're trying to help you with this decision. Okay, Pisces? Let's see here. Okay, this here, this here is, this is your greatest, this is your greatest hope or your greatest fear. Now, this is the high priestess, high priestess and this is a lot of mystery in this card. The high priestess holds a lot of mystery behind her, behind this veil. She knows she has a lot of intuition, just like you do, Pisces. You know a lot of things. It's a lot of um, intuition. You have that. You have that intuition. So you know that um, in your subconscious mind, you know what's going on here you know about the you know about the decision you have to make you recognize that you understand about this why you're not accepting this call accepting this money whether it's a uh, inheritance you suspend in yourself 
from deciding. You know with this intuition, this is your greatest fear or your greatest hope. So that's, that's up to you, Pisces, for sure. Okay, this is the key to everything. This is the Page of Wands. This is about discovery. This is a young person or a young idea. You can see the growth on the wands. On the wand, um, this is enthusiasm, exploration. This person here, you, let's say this is you. You'll be exploring new things. This is the key, and it's up to you if you accept it or not that you can go into uh, exploring new things right here. That could be with uh, the sunshine card, the sun, all new beginnings. This could be your new beginnings. You know, it could be, it could be any of these cards that show great hope that you're being handed something of love and new really good things with the cups um so it's all up to you it's all up to you pisces i'm going to throw another couple cards in here and see what we get with it all right okay let's see let's see what it says i want to see what it says about the hangman again page of swords all right this is, Page of Swords is an uh, energetic person. So the Swords is coming in to, to help you with an answer. If you, if you like suspended with an answer and you, you just laid back on it, this person's going to come help you. It's a younger person. They're going to come help you with an answer to help you make up an answer. I mean, to decide on an answer about you sitting here maybe. Let's see what that Four of Cups says. All right. The world. Completion. That's a travel card. This this will help you here. A completion. Maybe maybe you're supposed to travel here. Instead of just sitting here, maybe being uh, you know, maybe a little down and out and not and unsure, because you do have three cups here that are filled. Wonderful cups of beautiful things that you have and you're ignoring them. And you won't even accept this here. You, you like in distress or unhappy. And, and you're being gifted this. By the universe, you're being handed that. And you don't want to take it. And here's the world. And this is about completion cord. There's the wreath. Maybe you need to get up and travel. Maybe you need to get up and, you know, and look at your accomplishments. Instead of sitting there, get up and, and look at your accomplishments, Pisces. All right. This is your blocking cord. The page, the page of Pentacles. Let's see what this says. There's a good cord. The Empress. This is like Mother Earth here. She has she's about romance, abundance. You can see the beautiful trees, the flowers, Venus, heart of love. It could be fertility. She could be pregnant. It could be you to be pregnant or someone you know that's trying to have a child. Um, this card's all about abundance. So you should, and this card also, the pinnacles, this was about wealth. If this card is blocking you in some way, it looks like it's opening up to good things. The Empress is another major arcana card, so that's good. It's major. This is a major card here. Wealth, beauty, love, fertility. All is upright. Uh, I mean, uh, it's all abundance, up, upright things. It's all good things on that. Um, these here are good cords here. We don't have to look at those. Let's look at this cord here. Let's look at this Two of Swords. I'd like to see what that that's about. Page of Cups. Okay. The Page of Cups here. Now that, that cord is that you have to make choices and you can't decide about it. 
So let's see what the Page of Cups says. Page of Cups is about... This This person right here is a little bit of a dreamer. Let me get this over here. He's He or she is a little bit of a dreamer. Um, this could be your inner child. This this could be this. Could, it could be beginnings, though. This this could be a messenger, also. The pages in the cards in the tarot cards could be a messenger bringing you a message, maybe to help you out with your choice. Um, so that would be a good thing. If this person, and this this could be a young child also. This could be a young child. It could be your inner child. Um, this here is going to help you out, the innocence of it. Your inner child. Look look towards your inner child. Look towards your in. Your intuition will help you. I mean, you You know, you, you're blocking your emotions here. Try to try to open up here. Try to open up your your inner child here. Your your beginnings. Let this be a beginning on on unblocking this here. Help you out. Help you out to. Uh, to accept this here, this wealth, this um, family, family that's coming into your life, or money, you know, let this open, let, let this message or this inner child open this up, let, the, let that happen there, and I'm going to pull another card for the, um, page of wands now that's about discovery and a free spirit and that's good that that's your key card this is another one for your in, for your key card of, and now this looks like disagreement and some chaos going on uh, there might be some conflict uh, but it's not a real it's not a real fight they all wear in different clothing as you can see a lot of times we have this going on if 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 it's a job, even if it's about someone we care about, a love, uh, we all have to try to, okay, say if it's about a job. Several people put in for a resume, and we all try for the job, and so we hope the best person gets the job, and so that's the kind of chaos this is, or conflict, you know, that... It's like a competition, or in a race, it's like a competition. It's not a real fight. It's a competition type thing. So this could be what's going on here too. Let me pull another card for, the, for you. Let me see. All right, this is judgment. This card is a rebirth. Uh, this is that. This is you coming to see you coming about now to, to, and that that's another major arcana card. Now, this is an awakening card, a rebirth. This is a good card. This here is that you may be coming to see all about this whole, this whole reading for you. It could be about. The love, the fertility card, the balance that you're going to have to, that you'll be having soon, the patience that you're going to need. This here card is um, judgment card. That's a good card. It could be you know, uh, this could be your purpose right here. This could be a, just an awakening to so many things, Pisces. An awakening for you to see so many things in your life. 
You may need to forgive someone. You may even need to forgive yourself so that you can move on. You know, it could be that conflict here, that competitiveness. It could be within yourself. You may need to forgive yourself or you may f need to forgive someone else. This is the key right here, judgment. You know, an absolution to something or somebody, yourself maybe, maybe someone else to let go, to be happy. That could be the choice. That could be the patience, balance. All this works together for good. Okay, Pisces, we're going to call this a read. And I think it's a good read. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates with you. And um, my chords are a mess. Sorry about that. Um, take care of yourself. Help take care of others, too. And uh, remember you loved you're sensitive and um, open up your heart I know you do okay Pisces I'll see you again in another reading okay for now bye bye